It's so obvious that they came down the hill right here and then crossed this shallow part of the the creek, Deer Creek. We just don't know. Hidden area over here. So it could have been that they came down and then he took them here and then the girls made a run for it and he caught up to them over here and then he, that's where he killed them right in that area. That's just a, a theory. So there they go. Right across the bridge. On the hill, now you can see how they had to go down this bank. Then they were made, either they ran for it, or we don't really know, but they had to go across the creek. And here's the crime scene, basically. There's the yellow tape. So that's the crime scene that I have squared off, and we've got crime scene tape right there. And then it lined up right with the shallow part of the creek, and... And there you have it. I mean, it was real... It really made a lot of sense. So it could have been that they came down, and then he took them here, and then the girls made a run for it, and he caught up to them over here, and then he, that's where he killed them, right in that area. That's just a, a theory. So right here... Now that's this tree right there. It was, uh, if he forced them across, or they tried to escape. Or, I mean, it's even possible that he, you know, drag, drugged them across after he had already killed them, but, I, you know, I don't think so. I think he actually forced them across. That's just a, a theory. And one of the, the, the basis of it is the shoe that was found on that side. It was a warm day that day, but still uh, the water temperature is probably 